This is Guan Ying's prayer. It helps to quieten our hearts, do good deeds, don't do bad things, don't commit sins. At the age of 17, I started to have problems with my eyes. My name is Fong Akan, and I'm 68 years old. At the time, I was digging a well, maybe because there was some marsh gas under the well. I went everywhere to see doctors, but all of them shook their head. Heard from my grandma that in China, all the blind work as masseur. So I started learning to do massage. I went everywhere to look for teachers. Massage is a very profound thing. I'm still learning even until today. In the beginning, when we were learning, we didn't know the market. We came out to work, and when the number of customers reduced, we went back to study some more. We learned from everywhere. I was young then. I went everywhere. I was brave. Now I'm older, not as brave as before. When I cross the road, I have to listen very carefully. It's not very convenient for me to go out alone. Another problem is, we use taxis to go everywhere. In the past, the taxis used diesel, so when they stopped in front of us, we could hear them. Now, they use gas. We can't hear them with all the cars passing by. So I thought, it's better I stay put in one place, don't go out so much. So I started this massage center. In the past, the blind man's brick were made of plastic, which was better, because when we hit it, we could feel the difference to the concrete. Now, the blind man's path and the sidewalk are both made of cement. So when we sweep it, it's hard for us to differentiate. We can't walk fast, we have to walk slow. Young, old, men, women. The trend these few years are people with pain in their shoulders, necks, backs. When we ask about their jobs, they all say they work in computers. Here we charge 40 ringgit per hour for both men and women. It's easier in the past, it was less developed, less car, less people. Now it's more developed with more cars and more people.